Hello friends, Tony here. Welcome. In this video, I'm going to work with a section. When we log in, we have a section to, with one video, which has with one movie, which has a video playing on the background and also displaying the title and the overview of that movie. And we have two buttons, the uh, play button and also the show info button. And that's what I'm going to do in this video. I'm going to design that uh, a billboard or section what we can say and I'm going to add right here and so remove this first and add that section so for in this video I'm going to ju just to design that billboard so first I'm going to open the welcome page and instead of the section I'm going to comment the section and let's go and in the components front end I'm going to create a new one and I'm going to name it a uh, billboard you can name it what you like tsx react arrow function component with export okay now let's use this in here so i'm going to say sorry billboard and let's save it refresh i think we have here yeah billboard Okay, let's start and work with the billboard section. First, on this div, I'm going to add the class name to be a relative. Uh, I think if we search for uh, Tilewind aspect ratio, we have a plugin for that. Yeah, we have, we can use the uh, aspect video which is yeah we can use that so let's say as again let's see aspect video so aspect video like this and also now let's remove this billboard and in here and with other video now if we add here uh yeah i'm going to say auto play the true loop true muted true but if we add the source and on that source we added the YouTube URL is not going to work so we need a mp4 URL and here I'm going to paste that URL yeah. okay I'm going to close the video and let's save and let's see come here yeah here is the video okay now on this video I'm going to add also some classes so let's say class name and I'm going to start not with uh, absolute, but I'm going to say this is going to be with full. Okay. Then I'm going to say also this one is going to be aspect uh, video and all object cover. Also, I'm going to save. And yeah, why we have. And yeah, now as you can see, we have a full width. Okay, very good. Let's come here. Now next we need to add uh, the movie title in here, also the overview and uh, two buttons. So after the video, I'm going to add a div with some classes and let's say I'm going to add absolute to this one. So we have relative, I'm going to add absolute and I'm going to say top to be I don't want to be zero up here. I may, I want to be down there. So maybe top uh, forty percent on FD and up. I want the top to be, and I'm going to say fifty percent like this because I forgot to do also here. So forty percent. On MD on MD and up, fifty percent, and also we need to add the margin left of uh, four on MD and up. The margin left is going to be uh, sixty. Okay, here now I'm going to add the H one, and let's leave it this. So I'm going to say movie title is going to be here. I'm going to save and see. Yeah, as you can see, here we have movie title. Just I don't want to be uh, 
black that text so let's say text is going to be white and I'm going to say uh, drop shadow excel and also it's full and width I'm going to say 50% okay and because we added that with 50% now if I remove yeah, we have like this if we leave it 50% we wrap the title now if you like like this okay if you don't like I'm going to change that so let's say uh, white space no wrap and now we have the movie title like this good now after the H1 I'm going to add the paragraph and here I'm going to add lorem ipsum okay and then on this paragraph I'm going to add some classes so let's say class name also here text is going to be let's say gray uh, 100 let's come here and yeah here we have the text I'm going to say text is going to be small and on large enough text is going to be large drop, drop shadow also I'm going to add here and let's say font uh, semi bold come here and see yeah now as you can see this is going to take a full width which I'm going to change that so let's say width uh, by default I'm going to say 90% and an MD I'm going to say width to be 80% maybe and we are to see 80% on large I'm going to change that so let's say on large the width is going to be 50% and hedge full if I save and come here refresh yeah now we have something like this good next let's add uh, two buttons I'm going to add the div with some classes so class name to be flex flex uh, row I'm going to say items center and margin top of 3 MD and up I'm going to say margin top of 4 and of, for example let's choose also a gap between gap 3 ok and then uh, let's add a link we need to import that which is going to uh, navigate us to watch the movie okay so link with a shref for now let's say just slash and then let's add some class names some uh, classes and I'm going to say bg that this one to be uh, white text is going to be a gray 900 and I'm going to say py uh, 1 MD and up py 2 px 2 and MD and up px 4 around that is going to be MT ok width is going to be auto uh, I'm going to say text to be small and large and up text is going to be large and let's say also font semi bold and because I'm going to add also here uh, SVGs I'm going to say flex flex row item center oh, why we have flex flex row let's remove this one items center and I'm going to say uh, on hover let's change the bg opacity to be 80 and also let's add transition ok now here we're going to say play 
and let's close the link and yeah here we have the play now i'm going to open uh, the hero icons and look for a play button a uh, play icon sorry play yeah i'm going to copy the uh, jsx and paste it right here okay now let's see let's come here uh yes just let me change the size to b8 and also i want margin right of uh two or three let's say three for now and i think we are okay okay so play we have here where is text text small font semi bold okay Next, let's copy this link. And I'm going to paste down there. This is going to be for more info. More info. Now, we're going to change the icon. The info icon. I'm going to copy the SVG in the JSX. And paste it right here. Also, change the size to B8. And margin right to B3. And to save come here and we have also more info and play buttons but for the more info we have a different background so let's say not bg white we'll say bg to be or let's leave it bg white text white and i'm going to say uh, bg opacity to 30 come here yeah now it's, it's going to look like this on hover now we are going to change the bg opacity to 20 and i think we are okay here and we are okay here and this is all about this video friends how we can uh, design the billboard for our project now, if you like such a videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, share with your friends and see you in the next video. All the best. Thank you very much.